Iran's president says it would be a pity if its nuclear deal with the West is destroyed by what he calls rogue newcomers. That's a reference, of course, to President Trump, who Monday blistered the deal in a speech to the United Nations General Assembly and now says he has made up his mind on whether the U.S. will leave it. Senior correspondent Eric Sean is outside the U.N. tonight. Good evening, Eric. Good evening, Brett. A new threat tonight from our Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani. He tweeted that if the U.S. withdraws from the nuclear agreement, Iran may resume its uranium enrichment. But he says as far as nuclear weapons are concerned, that's no option. It's all part of the delicate diplomatic dance and the increasing standoff between the U.S. and Iran here at the U.N. Today was Iranian President Hassan Rouhani's chance to return President Trump's volley that Iran was a murderous, repressive regime. The ignorant, absurd, and hateful rhetoric filled with ridiculously baseless allegations that was uttered before this august body yesterday was not only unfit to be heard at the United Nations, but indeed contradicted the demands of our nations from this world body to bring governments together. He insisted his nation is abiding by the Iranian a nuclear agreement and again denied his country wants a nuclear bomb. He said since the pact has the support of the international community, it should not be abandoned by one nation, the U.S. And he said that with another dig at the White House. It will be a great pity if this agreement were to be destroyed by rogue newcomers to the world of politics. But the Trump administration is gunning for the agreement's sunset clause that ends restrictions on Iran's nuclear program in about a decade. Critics say that will pave the way for Tehran to develop nuclear weapons. In his interview with Brett Baer last night, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson warned of that very prospect. The agreement comes to an end, and so we can almost start the countdown clock as to when they will resume their nuclear weapons capability. The president could decertify the deal next month, and when he met with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, he teased that he has already made up his mind. Well, I have to say it. As Rouhani spoke inside the U.N., Iranian opposition groups held a massive demonstration against him across the street. They denounced both his appearance here and the nuclear deal. Nothing about the atrocious, aggressive, extremist behavior of Iran has changed. President Trump sees that. Well, other voices are calling for opening up the agreement. French President uh, Emmanuel Macron says it should include ballistic missiles. It now does not. And in one hour from now, the P5 plus Germany will be meeting with Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif. As you know, Zarif negotiated the agreement with Obama Secretary of State John Kerry. But in 60 minutes from now, Zarif will be sitting across the table from Rex Tillerson, a different Secretary of State, who tonight will bring Zarif a different message. Brett. Eric Sean outside the United Nations. Eric, thanks.